So today is my last day in the Brookshires. So this is my last chance to do some fishing and hopefully I catch some decent fish today. So far, it's been every time I've, I've come out here, I've caught fish. And I'm actually gonna fish this, this, uh, this tree sticking out of the water again, even though I fished it for the last three days. So, you know the drill. Stay tuned, here we go. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I might have this I might have fished out this log. more casts but I think I might have um I mean I've, I've been pulling fish off this thing since when I first seen it I caught that decent sized bass on it okay I'm gonna move I'm taking my pit boss I'm moving. bye log or I should say bye bye tree. I definitely fished you out. Oh, that was a bite. The bite on the pit boss. And you, now you're caught. It's probably a bass. It's not very big. Oh, okay. There he comes. Boom. I can say it's not very big. But every time I go fishing on this place, I catch a fish. Every time. Oh, yeah. Every time. So the air is kind of it's cold. The water's warm. The fish is actually warm because the water's warm. Pit boss. That's all I'm going to say. A pit boss. Let you go. So my anchor is stuck. Holy. Hey. I am stuck. Yeah. So the anchor is wedged. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I released it. So how I got this anchor back was this anchor was under a log or in between a rock or something. And how I had the anchor rigged is I had a wire tie. The wire tie went right here. Okay. This the wire tie did this was, was holding this on. And you've seen what I just did. I gave it really quick jerks. And the reason I gave it really quick jerks is I wanted to break the wire tie. Once I broke the wire tie, it releases here and now it picks up from here. And when it picks up from here, it collapses. It collapses the um, these fins here. That's how I got the anchor back. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have any wire ties. So now, this anchor is almost useless. Unless I, I tie it to this. And then if I do tie it to this, I'll never get it back. I'll never get this back again. If it gets stuck again. So. I am going to do without an anchor. Right now. I don't have any wire ties, so um, I have to make a note to myself to put wire ties on the boat here in case this happens again where I can get my anchor back um, and then 
put the wide tie back on the anchor so I can reuse it. So that was just, just a, uh, a quick trick because you just seen what happened. That, that would have been stuck. I, w I don't know what it was on, but it would have been game over. So, okay, so now let's start fishing again. I wanted to come over here. <laughs> oh yeah. Took it right from the surface. Right. Without an anchor this is this is tough because look this fish is just dragging me dragging me around. Oh, it's not too it's not huge. Oh he got off. Damn it. He got off. So how, how we got off was I allowed him to have slack in the line and it's easy to get slack in the line when your boat's not anchored. As you can see when I was bringing him in the boat was actually moving toward him and the boat's moving toward him. There's actually a couple things I did wrong. One thing I did wrong is I had my, pa my paddle in my hand still. The other thing I did wrong is I wasn't anchored. So the boat the kayak moving toward him put slack between him and me and he got off so this is gonna be interesting now without a anchor it wasn't a huge bass but um it was still cool seeing him take it from the top wasn't it Pull them right out of the tree. Oh, damn it. Damn it. That's the second one today that got away. Again, I'm not anchored. It's tough. As soon as you put, as soon as you get any type of slack on that fish, he will throw that hook. You got to keep pressure on him at all times, and it's you can't keep pressure on him when your boat's moving. So, I caught one fish today. Today is my last day. This is my last time on the pond. And it is a beautiful pond. Nice clean water. This fishing's been really good. Um, fishing's been tough because uh, the fact that I lost an anchor and the fact that I lost, almost lost another anchor and I don't have wire ties with me. So the other anchor doesn't work to support me the weight of the boat here so without having without being able to keep a position I cannot keep pressure on a bass so he's just gonna get off and we've seen it happen twice already so that was a day where I would have caught three fish I, sh I those two fish I should have caught if, if I was anchored like I should have been I would have had them in the boat definitely um the fog is rolling in more and more and more so before there's a problem with uh, visibility I'm gonna head to the dock so before I go I'm gonna leave you with remember I said I got a pack one of the things I gotta do is I actually have to put this kayak back on the vehicle and we are in the mountains
follow me. Okay. So, I gotta get my kayak up here. Through here. Up this hill. Where should I go? Oh, I gotta take these with me. I brought these down a few days ago. I guess I'll bring it up this way. This is where I came. We are located on a mountain. That bridge goes to the second floor of the house. Look at this damn hill, I gotta go up with the kayak. So, if you never see another video again from me, you can assume I died bringing my kayak up this damn hill. Hi, so today, I'm gonna show you how to rig up the anchor. This was the anchor that got stuck and I am going to put the zip tie back on it and I'm going to show you how to do that. Oh and by the way, welcome to my studio. Behind me is basically M Green Fishing Studio which is my garage actually. I'm sitting in my garage. So let's do this. Zip tie. Paracord. And you would think that you would want to tie this to here, which would make sense. But actually, you're going to tie it to here. Just like so. And I'm just going to tie a regular overhand knot, like a tie a knot on, on there. Just like so. So now it looks like this. Then I'm going to run it up like this. And I'm going to put a zip tie on it. So I'm going to hold it like this. Can you see it? I'm going to put a zip tie. And I'm using these small zip ties because these are easy to break, but they're strong enough to hold up. Um, being uh, pulled by the kayak. Um, this is not going to break unless it's really tugged a few times really hard. Just like so. So now, if this gets stuck, so this is at the bottom, how you would retrieve it like this. If this gets stuck on something, you yank on this and it breaks this wire tie. And when it breaks this wire tie, it then lifts up from here. And I'm gonna make sure I have these in my kayak. So, yeah. That's how you do one of these claw Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Bye.